guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, as I promised you, my Premier League prediction table, we're going to review it. The table that I predicted all the way back in August. Now, we lose you about this time of year, we should be getting ready for a new campaign. But obviously, because of what's happened, that starts in six weeks' time. But still very close indeed. But anyway, we're here for one reason, so let's get straight down to it, guys. You know what to do, give us a little big front thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, my bottom three were Norwich, Newcastle, and Crystal Palace. Norwich went down in 20th, which I got dead on. Uh, um, with Norwich, it sort of baffled me back in August where I didn't strengthen enough. I thought Norwich would, you know, come up and have one of them, you know, buy lots of players, but it didn't happen. In 19th, I went from Newcastle. Now, Newcastle had an epic season. Steve Bruce, all the negativity and everything around Steve Bruce and Newcastle Football Club. They still had a brilliant season, finishing up in 13th place. I was six places off. 18th, I went with Crystal Palace. Yeah, again, Crystal Palace sort of had a really good season. But, you know, only finishing 14th with the players that I got. You know, it did baffle me, but I did have a bad pre-season, which while well putting down in the drop zone, finishing 14th, four of plus my predictions, and, you know, fair play to them. In 17th, I went with Sheffield United. Finished eight spaces above in ninth. But Sheffield United had a brilliant first season back in the Premier League. With the likes of, you know, what people were expecting of Sheffield United, you know, they did have a brilliant season. Chris Wilder and the Sheffield United team had a brilliant season, well done to Sheffield United. But, you know, probably one of the most underdogs of a successful season, obviously after the Wolves last season. In 16th I went with Burnley, who finished four places above in 10th. Burnley were one of them teams this season that I really did think they could actually go do something. But, Go back to pre-season and teams seem to struggle to get out. But, you know, Burnley finishing in 10th. But I predict them to finish in 16th. As I said, four above. Uh, I think they finished on 45 points just above the top 10. In 15th, I went with Aston Villa, who finished in 17th. But Villa only finished in 17th due to that. Goal that didn't stand away to Sheffield United in the Sheffield United goal. Uh, their keeper, I think it was, punched it back over the line. Mark Oliver saying the goal line technology wasn't working. And, you know, they got a point out of that game. But while we're on the f subject, put down in the comments below about VAR. How did you find it? I told you way back in August that I did watch a lot of MLS and I still do when I can. But you can say all about the VAR, but Gary didn't a couple point it out on TV yesterday that it's not the VAR itself, it's the people that's doing it. The Premier League bring out these walls, right? The handball wall. Right, let's reflect the handball wall quickly. Handball, deliberate or accidentally, in the box will be given. How many of them got not given this season? I mean, come on, Premier League, you really have got to start looking at the referees. If they're not going to stick by the rules, fire them. I'm sure there would be plenty more referees players that do their job. But, yeah, as I said, Phyllis stay up because of that. But I still reckon VAR's a way forward. Well, put them in 15th, as I said, finished minus 2 in 17th. Fill up are in the Premier League for next season. 14th, Robert Mine Club, Brighton, finished in 15th. 
I think from a Brighton perspective that the three month break or pandemic or whatever you want to call it is really did help us. I mean we did we didn't want to game in twenty twenty came straight out I think I think our first game from coming back was Arsenal. We won that one two one. So I think the three month break really did help us. But as I said, Brighton finished in 15th, I put them in 14th, just one place below what I predicted them. But still a great season for Brighton and finished on the highest points tally that Brighton have since being in the Premier League. 13th, I went for Southampton. Southampton <laughs> have one of them seasons where you look at how I started, I did finish in 11th, which was two places where I predicted them to finish. But you look at how I started, people wanted them to suck their manager, the boss sat tight, and you know, fair play for Southampton for doing that. In 12th, I went with Wolves. I oh, know I just misspelled Southampton by the way. In 12th, I went with Wolves, finished five places high with seventh. Now, as it stands, and as I'm filming this, they have missed out on European football for next season. If Chelsea win the FA Cup against Arsenal, then Wolves will qualify for UEFA. But then if Wolves win the UEFA League, they will go in to the Champions League. So, you know, it ain't all over for Wolves yet, but 12th place I predict them, finishes 7th, not bad season for Wolves in the second season for them. In 11th, I've gone with Bournemouth. Now, Bournemouth did finish in 18th with one of the worst ever performance, worst ever performance I've seen in the Bournemouth at Bournemouth. You know, with Bournemouth doing, finishing in 18th place, obviously down in the championship next season, very much below my expectations. Now we go from 10th to 5th. Now Watford, yet again finishing the uh, relegation zone. I predict them to finish in 10th after being my dark horses from last season. And yet I failed to do so, finishing in their 19th as I, yeah, 19th as I said. Watford, yet again a very disappointing season. Yet again Watford was so disappointing with the likes of how I go about things. Sacking Nigel Pearson in just two games left in the Premier League season and I roughly knew then that they were going to go down. Uh, I think they played City and Arsenal the last two games. But yeah, 19th, so Wal uh, Watford are back in the Championship for next season along with Norwich and Bournemouth. In 9th, I went with West Ham. Now, I did say this that way back in August. Funny enough, I sort of remember saying this. I predicted West Ham to finish so low the season before. So I thought, oh, oh no, I'll go with them a bit higher. So I put them in ninth and they finished way well predicted them to finish roughly the season before. I can't quite remember where I put them the season before, but finishes sixteenth. Poor season for West Ham. I'll be very Obviously, it's all going to go on how they do in the transfer window, how I predict them for next season, and that will be coming just before the start of next season as well. But, you know, <laughs> West Ham had a terrible season after I predict them to finish so highly. In 8th, I went with Leicester, who finished 3 above in 5th. Leicester were very unlucky to miss out on the Champions League uh, qualifications. You know, with the last game against Man United, and after being in fourth for so long as well. But yeah, as I said, predict them to finish in eighth, they finished fifth, so fair play to Leicester. Still in the Europa League. In seventh, I went with Arsenal, just one below, I predict them, they finish in eighth. With Arsenal, you're. They. I had a sort of a disappointing season, losing to Brighton twice, and I know they lost to a lot of other clubs that they really 
should have known, but I'm not going to say should have because every club has got a run of what's been in the Premier League. But Arsenal did have a few disappointing results this season. But as I said, finishing in eighth, just one place higher than what I predicted them to finish. In sixth, I went with Everton, who finished in twelfth. You know, with the likes of Everton doing that. Yet again, let's remember the start that Everton had of the season. You know, it weren't that impressive, was it, really? But, you know, finishing in 12, Kanye Ranieri did a great job there. Uh, hopefully be f finishing half for next season. In fifth, I went with M Manchester United. Now, Manchester United did finish in third place with the likes of... You know, beating Leicester, but then they go to third place because of the goal difference for Chelsea. So, you know, fair play to Man United for doing that. Now we'll go from fourth to second. In fourth, I went with Chelsea, spot on. Chelsea had a brilliant season, as far as I'm, you know, what in my opinion. You know, Frank Lampard had a tough job to do there. Let's remember that at the start of the season they had the transfer band and then they had to bring all the youth players through and you know it's all to do with the likes of Frank Lampard and a brilliant job he done. I'm so pleased for Frank Lampard and for Chelsea. Yet again Champions League qualification for Chelsea next season. In third I went for Tottenham on Spurs. I'll put them in third to actually finish sixth. Bad season for Tottenham, in my opinion. Well, I was saying about, I wanted Pochettino out. I got him out, and I think they've degressed instead of pre, uh, pregressed. So, I think they really have had a disappointing season, finishing in sixth. And yet again, a club that Brighton beat at the MX Stadium. In second, I went with Liverpool. Now... Liverpool did win the league and fair play for Liverpool for winning the league. But it's going to be hard to retain it. Do you think they do it next season? As I said, my Premier prediction table for next season will be up prior to next season kicking off. In first place, I went with Manchester City. Now I did finish in second. I think Man City had another disappointing season. They finished so far off Liverpool. I think it works out for something about 13 points. That's so far off. But, you know, Manchester City finishing second. So, you know, next season's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to doing next season's table already. Obviously, there's a six-week gap between transfer windows, uh, the transfer window, sorry, and then, obviously, the season starting. My... Obviously, it depends when the season starts. My prediction table will probably be up on Thursday prior to the season starting. But anyway, guys, you sort of see what this channel is turning into. I'm talking about transfers coming into your club, so make sure you subscribe for that. Make sure you subscribe for more as well. Give us a big fight if I'm not you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.